Barack Obama says the black communities are not supporting Kamala Harris the way he was supported when he ran for the president. I'm going to go on ahead and, and just say some, speak some truths, if you don't mind. Because my understanding, based on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities, is that uh, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly. And say that when you have a choice that is this clear, <clears throat> when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences. Who's had to work harder and do more and overcome and achieves the second highest office in the land and is putting forward concrete proposals to directly address the things that are vital in our neighborhoods and our communities, from housing to making sure that our, our, our mothers and our, our fathers and our grandparents can afford medicine, and, and making sure that we are dealing with prices that are too high and rents that are too high and, and are committed to is committed to making sure that we maintain the Affordable Care Act so everybody's got help here. and cares about things like education and entrepreneurship in our neighborhoods. And that's on one side. And on the other side, you have someone who has consistently shown disregard, not just for the communities, but for you as a person. And you're thinking about sitting out? <laughs> but, you know, because of Putin, I <laughs> And you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that. Because, because part of it makes me think, I'm speaking to men directly, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. And I think anybody you are talking to in a barbershop, anybody you are talking to in your house, in your family, at a, at, a, at a church who is coming with that kind of attitude, I think you have to ask them, well, how can that be? Because the women in our lives have been getting our backs this entire time. They've been raising us and working and having our backs. And when we get in trouble, the system's not working for us. They're the ones who are out there marching and protesting. And, and so now you're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a sign of strength. Because that's what 
being a man is? Putting women down? That's not acceptable. That's not, this shouldn't even be a question. 